We doing everything they talk about You know I'm everything a boss about Not putting work and gotta toss them out I'm really biting, they just barking out I'm really riding, they just parking now His street, what to talk about See the big H when I'm walking out So the first matchup we're going to dive into is the Paris Musketeers versus the Cologne Centurions, all right? When you look at this game, the most anticipated team, you know, everyone's been wanting wanting to see, Paris, right? Versus kind of an organization that's been rebuilding not only their team, but their identity of, you know, who they, who they are, all right? On one hand, we got, you know, all-time passing leader, and on the other hand, we got a team who's over the past few years have had historically, you know, bad defense, right? You know, when you look at this game, what are some of the things that, that stick out? What are some of the things you, you're looking forward to watching this game? I I think for me, it is just, we're all excited to see this Paris offense. You know, you, we've got, you mentioned Zach and Kyle, you've got Patella Moreno, who's who's moved over. Uh, you've got Ajamon, who's now there as well. And, and we talk about, if you want an offense to kick start the season, you're going against Cologne, who you, you alluded to there. The defense has just been poor in these last two seasons. So for, for me, that is the main point of view. I, I don't think there's many better opportunities for them to, to kick the season off and get running. So that that's sort of the main thing I'm looking for when it comes to this game. Let me ask you this. Is this a trap game for Paris? As you look, as you look, I mean, it's hard to say week one being a trap game, but as you look, yeah, week to week two home opener versus the Stuttgart surge who everyone loves this year. Yeah. This, this game could easily be looked over. Do you think this would be a trap game for Paris? It's possible. You look at last year, the, the Centurions beat the Raiders in week two. Yeah. And yeah. you know, the Raiders end up going to the playoffs and we were all high on them. And that became a trap game for, for a new franchise in the ELF. So for sure you, you say, yeah, week one, can it be classes? Yeah, definitely. If the Cologne Centurions come up flying like they did last year. And they were real. I remember after about three games, we were thinking, hello, is this team, are, are they really something? Uh, they've got it in them. But yeah, who who knows? It's it's so tough to tell. I think from what we've learned the last two seasons is don't take everything away from week one. Just yeah, yeah. do not overreact. Week one's so Just, unpredictable. Yeah, exactly that. So you're right. They they definitely, it could be a trap game. But if it is to be, I wouldn't take loads from it. Gotcha. Who are you, uh, who are you picking in week one versus Paris Cologne? I'm taking Paris still, <laughs> even after saying that. Yeah, I just think this team, if they if they get going and get moving, they could be a real force. And I just think they've got a fair few. Like their big players have been here, been in the league, done it. So yeah, that's why I'm picking Paris. Paris, there we go. So my thoughts on this game. You know, I think this game has potential to be a lot of back and forth as the teams are figuring each other out. Um, I think Cologne. The thing that hurt Cologne was that they lost a lot of depth this all season. I don't think that's going to hurt them week one. I think that's something that'll, that'll affect them later on in the season as the season goes on. Um, but you got a team that's hungry, right? You got a team that has, uh, you know, Zach Blair on, on the defensive side who could be an X factor. Someone who not only contributes on defense and makes plays and make an impact, but he does it again on special teams as well. Um, then, you know, you got someone like, uh, you know, Terry on Robinson who, you know, Played for the Rams, obviously with Zach, halfway through the season, almost had a 1,000 yards receiving. So who's going to cover him? The biggest question for Paris before some late signings was, you know, how is their secondary? So we're going to get an idea to see, you know, who, you know, the Paris Musketeers are. Um, I think, you know, for fantasy purposes, you know, uh, one guy to keep an eye out for is, is Zero Merrill. Uh, running back, not necessarily because the he won't get the amount of volume, but his impact when he touches the ball could be dynamic. So if you're looking for – a uh, sleeper fantasy player. There's one there. Um, I think uh, first half is going to be high scoring. Ultimately, I think Paris outscores Cologne. So I'm going to rock with the Paris Musketeers for week one as well. Stop. Stop.